What is up, you guys? We are just arriving and pulling into the DDHQ. I'm putting this car away for now after a long and strenuous drive. Six days, Miami to Huntington Beach, California. Coast to coast. Obviously, it didn't go the way we wanted it to, but that's okay. That's in the past. We're back here, back at home. And I have a big, big, big surprise for you guys today. It is car delivery day today. I'm super pumped. The HQ starting to look pretty damn good. All sorts of crazy updates on the F12 build and the F12 is right in front of me and it is absolutely bonkers. Now, you're gonna have to stay tuned for those episodes. Please tune in to the F12 build series because Mike and the team, Tim, Sean, all those guys have been working super, super hard on this project and it is starting to look like a car. Now, we have some other fun surprises in here, so I don't wanna ruin too much by whipping the camera around, but we have obviously right here, I can show you the Evo 2 is back from Seam. 570S GT4 car. This is on its way out. The real delay with this car. And I know some of you have been wondering, why is the 550 still here? Well, because the owner of the car who purchased the car, it's gonna go to the Philippines, really needs air conditioning because in the Philippines, it is quite humid, it's hot, and they wanna make sure that they can drive the car around the Philippines on the streets. And then the KB43 car, like I said, six day journey, 3,000 plus miles, coast to coast, and it's back. It's a little beat up. It's quite dirty because obviously steel brakes. I think I might even have to do a ceramic brake upgrade on this car at some point. We were having some issues on the drive when we were doing over the speed limit when we were on that private area where we could go ripping. It was actually, the wind was actually going up in here and pulling the hood up. It was like bowing the hood, which was a concern. So we went ahead and we taped it all. If you don't remember, because if you missed maybe that episode, we taped this all up. Now it's a mess. It's a mess. It's probably going to wreck part of the livery. I'll probably have to redo the front end into this car. It is what it is to save the hood from flying off, hitting the windscreen, and obviously causing a lot of damage. Delivery day. We have all these beautiful cars in here. Dave's Squad Recourse is sitting here. Goldilocks, as I have coined this car. Beautiful car. But we have to make room for another car that's going to go either here, or I was thinking maybe we'd actually finally start using the upper part of the Ben Pack lifts. We could throw that car up top there because we have five spots on top of the lifts for cars. I also have my Mercy Alonso which has been at the dealership for about two weeks. I wanted to lower it a little bit. I also wanted to get in a wheel alignment. The steering wheel was a little crooked on that. And also the bat wings, if you'd like to call them that, or the intakes that go up and down on a Murcielago. Mine weren't quite aligned where they would come all the way up. They were kind of almost drooping a little bit. So those have been corrected. So we do need to go pick that car up. But over here around the corner, I just got the phone call. A very special, very special car delivery is about to go down right now. Now I know you guys have been wondering what happened with the Senna. Look, don't hate me. Don't be mad at me. Things don't always work out on this channel that the way we'd like them to. We're running a business. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people we rely on. I know the Senna has kind of disappeared into thin air and I apologize about that. I'd like to give you some answers to what's going on with that car, but I need you to not hate me. So check this out, you guys. Special delivery for the DDHQ today. You wanna know what's in the back of this thing? Well, we're about to show you. I just heard it start up and it's about to come off the trailer. So I know you're all like, Damon, you got the Senna. It disappeared. You got the P1. It didn't last long on the channel. We think the Senna's probably done the same thing as the P1. I assure you, it has not. Today is the day we take delivery of the Senna here in Southern California. There were some problems with the Senna, and I'm gonna get into what were the problems that caused the delay to make you guys believe that we weren't being truthful and we didn't actually purchase the Senna and that maybe it was like a, a Fugazi, a Fugazi fairy dust didn't really exist. It's in the back. Our man Adam is about to pull it out and look at the carbon fiber in all its glory. That California sun is going to reveal the beautiful carbon on this car, you guys. Look at this. Let's go. This is a job I would not want. Nice work, Adam. Whoa, oh, the jump. The jump, you had me on that one. <laughs> and it's here, you guys. The fully exposed carbon Senna. Just glistening, glistening. 
in the sunshine here. I'm gonna go over the multiple little issues that we had with the car that required a car to go all the way back to the dealer. And the dealer had to handle a whole bunch of stuff and get this car right so that it was ready for DDE and ready for you guys so we could drive it and do all sorts of epic content with it. And I already have some things planned for this car so that we can, uh, you know, enjoy it in true DDE fashion. Obviously, we could change the wheels if we like. We could also put an exhaust on this car, give this car a tune, and see how much horsepower we can actually get out of a Senna. Now, will it beat the 720 GTR? Only time will tell. It's a fully built engine. That car has got just shy of 1,300 wheel horsepower, runs on ethanol. It's got a locking diff in the 720 GTR. It's a completely different beast. The problem with the 720 GTR is that it runs on so much fuel to create that power that the tank size isn't large enough for that car to ever go on a rally. So if you guys ever wanted to see that car on a rally, it's just never gonna happen. It's a more local car. It'll stick around in like the SoCal area, or if we transport it to somewhere like Dallas, Texas, or if we take it to Miami, it'll stay in the local area, but it'll never be able to do what I just did in the KB43 supercharged street Evo because it just doesn't have the range. I drive that car out around here for about an hour and a half and it's out of fuel. Hey man. Hey. You had me with the little jump no, there. No, no. The little <laughs> jump to the edge of the, the ramps here. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but it is. Yeah, no, I know. I, I was like, oh, oh, oh. I, thought, I thought the Senna was going to go right off. As you guys have seen some of those viral videos online where the uh, transport guy, unfortunately, has driven the car right off the ramps. Now, Adam's a skilled man and he wasn't about to do that. But here it is in all its glory, the fully exposed carbon Senna. The Eagle has landed here in Southern California at the DDHQ. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. It's been one hell of an experience trying to get this car down here from Canada. Finally. You're the man. Enjoy the rest of your day, buddy. All right, you guys, we're gonna let this thing warm up a little bit. The Senna has a real lift in it. Holy crap. I have never seen this much of a wheel gap in any vehicle I've ever had. Wow. How insane does this car look, you guys? Look at all the carbon. Like, the headlight sockets. Every little piece of this car is carbon fiber. It's absolutely menacing in the sun, but beautiful all at the same time. Let's go get ourselves a coffee in this beast, and I will explain exactly what was wrong with the Senna, that it was delayed for pretty much the better part of a month, and then it took another two weeks to get all this paperwork done so we could get it down to California. And the doors go up. Man, the how light these doors are, if you guys ever get the opportunity to go see a Senna in a showroom, ask the salespeople if you can open the door and just feel how light this is. Look at all the little carbon details, the fins inside the door, all the arrow you could ever imagine for a car. Now I gotta try to slide in here, oh, into the Senna seats. Oh, feels like home, feels like home. Check this out right here. See that? See how that window's working? Well, that window was not working. That window was broken when the car arrived. It wasn't mechanical hardware that was breaking the window. It was actually software. That's a funny thing about McLarens that I was gonna to talk to you guys about. That if you ever get a McLaren, you have to drive it. It is actually the most DDE car in the sense that if you don't drive it, it's not gonna like you. It's gonna give you these weird little electronic issues. It also had an engine light on the first time I drove it. So we had to send it off to the dealership to have all that stuff addressed. This car has just a thousand miles on it. It is basically brand new. And because it sat for more of its life than it had been driven, it never really got the electronics turned on it never really got to cycle through all of its like protocols that it's programmed to do. And then what happens is the car freaks out. And then also there were little things that needed to be fixed, actually hardware. And I believe one of them was the thermostat for the engine. So the thermostat was freaking out and that's what created the engine light. Then they had to order parts. Those parts took several weeks to come in and then they had to service all the car, put it all back together. Two more weeks to have these guys who were the only guys I could find to go from Canada down to the United States so us having to basically truck and trailer up to Canada just to get the car and then all the way back down which Dave and I did 30 hours straight was
was a complete nightmare. I don't want to do that again anytime soon. So huge shout out to TFX for doing that. Just so you know, Ply Car is more of a national based business. They do everything for us with inside the United States. Getting that car over the border was the tricky part on this trip. Hey you, come here, come here. I'm gonna help you out. This holiday gift season, don't give bad gifts. I don't know if you guys are tired of this, but I sure am. I'm so tired of getting bad gifts, and it is really hard to actually give good gifts, but we're gonna help you out with Ridge. Ridge is a game changer in your everyday carry. Here's the Ridge accessories that we use at the shop. Here's my wallet. Let me tell you why I love it. My Ridge wallet and all the Ridge wallets expand to hold up to 12 cards. Plus, there's room for cash and it still remains slim. Ridge wallets are designed with RFID blocking materials that protect me from digital pickpocketers. The Ridge key case holds up to six keys and keeps them nice and tight. Get 30% off your order when buying the Ridge wallet and key case together. Two daily essentials, one great deal. With over 30 options available, there's tons of colors to choose from. There's even a leather option. You've also got possibilities for air tag attachments, so you'll never lose your stuff again. They're also personalizable. You can add text, whatever you want, and give them as a gift. I know it's tough to give gifts. Everybody wants something different, but the Ridge wallet and their accessories is something that everybody is going to love. Don't get that car guy in your life some crappy gift he is not going to use. It's gonna sit in the corner or it's gonna go in the trash. Get a Ridge wallet. I'm telling you, this is the way to go. With over three million customers, you can't go wrong. And over 80,000 five-star reviews. And a 99-day money-back guarantee. Plus a lifetime warranty. Guys, you need to go out and get one today. Shop the holiday sale by going to ridge.com slash DDE and get up to 30% off from now through December 20th. Click the link in the description and you can enter for free to win a bundle of Ridge products worth up to $4,000. And their Black Friday deals are live right now, so act fast to get the best offers. Thanks Thanks to Rich for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for making awesome products. All right, you guys, step one, I need to go and close up the HQ. So I'm just gonna park the car right here, let the car continue to warm up. It's gonna need a little bit of time to uh, obviously get up the temp, the oil, and all that sort of stuff. It's been a minute since I've driven, obviously, the 720. The Senna is a little bit different, the layout. So for example, you know, the starting the engine button is right here on the roof. We have the fan for controlling the HVAC system, locking the doors, race modes up here, and then you have your windows up here. So, you know, I was, for the first time getting in here, I was actually kind of trying to remember where everything was. Plus, this is where you open the doors. It's the door handle, right there. All right, let's go quickly lock up and then let's get this guy the coffee he deserves. And let's go and enjoy the Senna in all its glory on a beautiful Southern California day. Look at that, right there, making this thing glisten in all of that carbon. I just can't stop looking at it. You gotta remember, I only drove this car one time on delivery day and then it was gone. I've not seen this car for the same amount of time you guys have, not once. It's been at the dealership the entire time and the dealership is not in Kelowna where I live. It is in the lower mainland of British Columbia in Vancouver, British Columbia. And so I haven't been to Vancouver to even go and check on the car. This all happened actually, thank you, to billionaire Mike Hall and Matt August. The car arrived with the window window not working and the engine light on. So they handled it all for me, like the pros that they are. So shout out to the August boys for handling that. I didn't even have to stress about any of this. They took care of it, gave me all the communication and boom, we have it. And look, roof scoop and functional roof scoop, I would like to add, because so many roof scoops nowadays on manufacturers' cars, they're just there, they're just fake. They're not even real, they're just for the look, which really like, ugh, it irks me. That's all locked up, cars are put away. I have some guests coming today that wanna see the DDHQ, so we will be coming back here later in the vlog, a little surprise guest action, and they also have a McLaren, so we're gonna be doing the McLaren bros thing today. But now I need to go get a coffee and we need to enjoy this car, we need to drive this car because this is daily driven exotics. This is not parked exotics. All right, here we go. Coffee time, car time, sounds time, twin turbo time, blow off valve time. And we do need to get an exhaust eventually for this car. I definitely have something in mind on how I want to design it, how I want it to sound. Hey guys, and we are off. The initial Cali drive with the split window and the windows in the freaking door so you can, you can see like, look how low this is. Oh, I've even, I haven't even touched it. Look, I've got eco mode on. That's funny that they put eco mode in like supercars. I'm even 
gonna be a little and I'm gonna drive it in auto. Just to get used to the car, just to let it, like I said, warm up the gearbox and everything, and so I can talk to you guys. This thing is a spaceship. You can hear all the little rattles and stuff just because everything is carbon and the engine is like hard mounted so you can feel every little bump, every little nook and cranny on the road. Let's go. because as crazy it is to be inside this car, the bonkers part is the outside. Man, I'm not even in like the hard track handling mode. You see how bumpy this is? Real race car guys, because race car for the streets. by the way. I want to make the blow off valve sounds as loud as the 720 GTR. We just have to swap them out. You can hear it right over my head. We can make all that louder. All that louder. Everybody's looking at this thing. shocks inside the door that little bit of red right here this is such a beautiful car all right do we need a lift for this i'm not gonna go lift oh we made it we made it it's the skills man it's the skills that pay the bills and we're done i got my key in a baggie <laughs> this is like delivery day delivery delivery day you guys Well, there she is. I think when I've been asked, do I have a favorite car? <laughs> and I've said the Mercia Lago for the driving experience, obviously. I don't know, maybe it's just the novelty, but like this might end up being my favorite car, especially once I get it to like sound the way I want it to sound, get the exhaust on it, blow off valves, take a shoot fire, put the livery on it. Now I know you guys are gonna hate me for this. Yes, it's exposed carbon. Yes, it looks crazy. But from this far away, it almost just looks like a black car or a kind of a dark gray car. And that's not gonna work for DD. So we're gonna have to put a crazy bright livery on it. All right, DD fam, I am back and I'm jacked up now with a, just the right amount of caffeine in my system. We need to head over to the DD HQ. I just realized we're gonna need to go and do our very first top up on fuel. And you see how the tires are blue? Well, these are Trofeo R's by Pirelli. They need heat in them in order to warm up and even have any grip. Right now there's very little grip. So I might even switch out the tire compound at some point on this car. Trofeo R's are really suited for like track use, getting them hot, ripping on them. For street use, they can be quite greasy, which can be quite unsafe. And I don't want that. I want the grip in this car this is my baby. It's also the most expensive car on the channel. All right, let's go get me. I think a hoodie. I think a hoodie would be pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Don't be deceived. On camera, yes, sunny, but still a little chilly. Especially the closer you get to the ocean, it gets really cold. I'm gonna go with the new varsity style hoodie. I hope they have an XL here. Tell me there's an XL in here. By the way, these are some of my favorite because of all the details. And same with the Varsity, just all the amazing details that went into making this, the embroidery, the cool stitch, all the details on this merch. And by the way, thank you to you guys for buying the merch. This stuff flew off the shelves, sold out in 24 hours, everything. I think there were only a couple of hats left. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps support us. I'm gonna pick something and then we'll hit the road. <laughs> Found one. Now, this was on Mark's desk, so I apologize, Mark, the boss is taking your hoodie. I didn't have one of these left for me, and uh, well, it's chilly out, and I wanna wear the new varsity one. We'll get you another one, Mark. All right, you guys, quick pit stop. Top this thing up with fuel, and then we're gonna head over and meet up with the crew. Pop this thing up, it's not completely out, but. We're gonna need a full tank to have shenanigans because McLarens, like I said, have smaller fuel capacity than like a Lamborghini. This is the door. There's a door on either side. This door is the fuel door on the Senna. Finish topping this thing up and then we're gonna hit the road and head over to the uh, meetup. All right, I think we found the spot. This is a new garage to somebody we know from before and he's recently moved. He's got some sick cars in the garage here. Look at all these people, holy crap. 
So we're just gonna pull right in. I was told to pull right in here. And we can check out everything that he's got inside, which by the way, look at the AMG, you guys. Wide body, massive wing, because race car, let's go. Oh, here we go. Good to be back. SoCal car scene is some of the craziest in the world. <laughs> look at the, how wide this thing is. Oh my gosh. Booty on this has got to be out of control. We got Ferraris, we got H1s, we got wide body kits in the back because race car, McLarens. Damn, look at this. Oh, look at that a wing on that bad boy. All right, we got McLarens. Apparently the Senna has created a bit of a crowd as Senna's do, especially carbon exposed Senna's. Man, the myth, the legend, what's up? Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for dude, coming. your garage is crazy on another level. Thank you. Give yourself a shout out. Where, Novara, where are we? Novara Motorsports. Damn. Yeah, the editing done, we got you. Look at this, we got a showroom now. Ooh, I like this. Remember I like the that? furniture. Yeah, dude. The last shop was a thousand square feet. Now we're in 11,000 feet. This is what I call taking it to the next level. Yeah, it's been a year and a half only. Damn. Yeah. So you got some crazy projects going on in here. Thank Give us you. a quick tour. We got uh, obviously yeah. the wide body AMG. So that's a car I drive every single day. Yep, that daily. FA Tributo, we're doing a full exhaust on that. There's a it's a spider too, right? Yep, and there's a 458 GT3 that's getting an entire GT3 cup car kit. The actual Ferrari GT3 challenge. Yeah, challenge Cup kit. car is Porsche. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna call you out on that uh, one. Damn, <laughs> got me on that one. And then uh, H1 getting I love some an H1. upgrades. LX570 getting some off-road upgrades. Bunch of paint protection film, exhaust, and all that. What about these McLarens over here? What's uh, with McLaren? Those are getting downpipes. Oh yeah, Thanks. congratulations. Thank you. Thank so you, you guys are gonna do some type of a cruise. I wish yeah. I could make it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have a friend coming who's meeting me and they really want to go see the DDHQ, our little tiny, our tiny garage compared to the tiny. size of this. Our garage is tiny nah, compared nah, to this. Nah, nah, so we're going to go and take them and do a special DD tour of the HQ. I'm sorry I can't come with this drive, okay. but I promise you I'll come on the next one. Sir. I said I wanted to come and see the car, so we did that. We accomplished Appreciate that. It. And my boy just yeah. drove by actually. He was with us going from Miami to Vegas. It's Marcos and Lisa, and they are in their McLaren. In GT, the art livery one. So let's go and say hi to them. All right, look who showed up. <laughs> straight, straight up, Ooh. coast to coast, coast you and coast. I have done Miami to basically Huntington Beach is where we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you the DDHQ. I brought your lovely wife with you. How was the drive today? I heard you guys hit a sandstorm. I have been there so many times and never seen a sandstorm. Yeah, yeah like hey? wrecks. You couldn't even see. First time we came here, we hit a snowstorm. Oh, a snowstorm. Snowstorm. And right? then this time we hit a sandstorm. <laughs> well, the feet I have to avoid. All right, where's your husband? Right there. There he is. Look at that thing. I need a livery like that. Later, guys. I think they need to hear it one more time, dude. All right. <laughs> All right, hold on. Everybody wants to hear this thing rev. I need an exhaust. That's embarrassing. Hey. They want to hear a real McLaren. Rev your car. Rev it some more. Thank you. There you go. You can do the fun turnaround. Step one, and then step two. Then you can go like this. What do you think? Looks good. I got it in eco mode so I can hear you. It turned off. <laughs> eco mode Senna. We're a bit faster. So what do you think of this thing? You're a big McLaren fan, right? Insane. Yeah, they're cool. That's half throttle, by the way. Huh, we were uh, we we're supposed to turn left here. Yeah, I thought so. So let's let's take a left. Like this. Oh, 
it sounds so good. I'm so jealous. And it looks good with the colors. Don't get me wrong, I love the carbon. I bought it more for the resale side of things and the investment. That's why I'm gonna wrap it. Ah, she's holding on to the roof. <laughs> oh, I'm torturing her. She spent four and a half hours in a sandstorm to get here, and I'm like, ah! This is the fun part, right? Yeah! Oh, I need that exhaust. Oh my God. The blow off valves on his car sound so good. The exhaust sounds good. That's everything we're gonna do to this car. We're gonna make the Santa a monster, just like the GT. Hang on. There it is. <laughs> oh. And we get the first shot of both doors open. Look at this. I haven't had a shot of the doors open like that. Okay. How epic is that? Okay, so we came here so they could see the HQ. I won't film all that. You guys have seen it a million times. Their son needs some merch. So I think I have just the thing. Right over here, we have the merch hanger. So <laughs> what size would you say he is? Uh, medium. He's a medium. Yeah. Oh, wow. The last one, oh, the brand new one. So there you go. Is he gonna answer? The brand new varsity hoodie. In fact, oh, literally it. what I'm wearing. I'm modeling it. There you go. And a DD classic t-shirt, medium. Look how happy he is. Oh, there he is. There you go. <laughs> we're hooking you up, man. Pile of jackets. You guys are getting prototypes because I'm sorry, we're sold out of the black on black. But this was the prototype that they made with the gray sleeves. My wife and I have them, Dave has them. This is cool. This is actually the backdrop from Gumball during Car Week. We brought it back and put it on the wall here for a little merch corner. Dinner. I'm starving. I have not eaten yet today. Let's go. Let's roll. By the way, before we go, shout out to the DDE fan who sent this. I don't know anything about it. I arrived and it was sitting here. It is like so thick and cool. It's like a big poster laminate thing for the wall. But more importantly, he took my concept of the Carrera Van GT and made this insane render. I think we should make the car look like that or a van. It's not a car, but you guys know what I mean. Vote in the comments. Should we make the Carrera Van look like this? using the new Inoza Tech DD720 GTR Pink. Dinner time. Beautiful sunset cruise in the center with the McLaren GT. If I can only close this door. There. I am loving the Senna, by the way, you guys. What a monster. But see how now it just looks like a black car? This is why we need to put the brand new Inoza Tech 720 DD Super Gloss 720 GTR Pink. Man, I don't know why I made it such a complicated name. And by the way, those rolls are now available to both the public and to dealers. So if you guys want to do a livery with that color, make sure you guys reach out. I'll put some links in the description. I need an exhaust. This thing's so boring sounding. Your car is nuts. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, just a little bit? No, this one sounds amazing. It sounds okay. It still, yeah, it still sounds good. You can hear it. it sounds great. Yeah, you get an exhaust. Yeah. Uh, there is a couple centers at R-Tune by M Engineering that I've heard about that are doing well. Perfect. That's what matters to me. I don't want to blow the engine up. I love this thing. There's so much detail inside of this livery. It's absolutely nuts. There's a naked lady on this. There's a what? A naked lady. Are you serious? Yeah. Where? You have a dog? Oh, that's my dog. You have, is that a heart with a yeah. knife in it? Remember Harambe? Yeah. Remember Harambe? Crazy. Man, you have to really look for that to see the gorilla's face. And then the naked lady. Oh, no kidding. That's a trip. There is so much. The slug. That almost looks like a yeah. slug it's, from it's a, SpongeBob or something. Yeah, it's one of, it's actually someone that did art that used a slug. I can't remember who it was. We got this and we have the skull in here. Biggie baby. Oh yeah. And Dude. then a buddy of mine is super old. Yeah. He's not really old, but he eats oatmeal every morning. So I put that on there to commemorate him. <laughs> Look at all this. My logo, which was on your guys' skull the entire time. Oh yeah. Is that in the wrap? Yeah, it's in the wrap. Really? Yeah. I like that one, by the way. There's just so much detail in the way that then the on. skull breaks open yep. and then you got the smiley face emoji. Only Max. Dude, there is, it just goes on Which and on. Like 36 chambers, album cover. And then you got the dollar sign in there too. How long did it take to design this? 
Uh, I think it took him about a week, going back and forth, about a week. That's it? Yeah. About a week, like, straight? Uh, here and there, he'd work on it, but by the time we had the final rendering, it probably about a week. Yeah, it wasn't that long. Oh, because you guys, to make this so that it actually fits on a real life-size car, they take the car and the dimensions and put it all into a computer and they design every single panel so it's all cohesive. That way, when you expand it and blow it up and it fits on the car, everything has the detail and it's not distorted. But I do think as cool as your car is, no offense. I think the Carrera Van GT needs that livery, like in the photo. Yeah. No. We need to do that livery on here. So it says Carrera Van GT on the bottom, just like a Porsche. All right, looks good. dinner? Indeed. Yep. I'm gonna follow you. Let's go. Well, what a great first day in the Senna. Love this car. It just solidifies the whole reason why I bought this car. I'm super happy with it. Guys, done dinner. Man, I love this car. Heading back to the HQ right now. We're back at the HQ. I brought my laptop because the l internet speed at the HQ is like lightning fast. I know we're gonna be rocking the carbon for a little bit, but soon it'll be going to my boy Ryan in Florida, the new Protective Film Solutions location in Fort Lauderdale to get a livery so that it's a little more DDE. And then we'll be working on some wheels and exhaust, the tune, maybe some upgrade on the blow off valves. Who knows, maybe I'd be dumb enough to upgrade the turbos, the whole nine yards, I don't know. Injectors, make this thing like what? A complete rocket? Should we try to make it so that it beats the 720 GTR? I don't know if that's even possible. I'd probably have to fully build the motor. Oh, oh, so scary in here. Okay, I gotta upload the footage. <laughs> 